Uh, welcome back. Um, CJ, let, let me fi allow you to finish your train of thoughts on the lows. I, I agree with you that there are many. Mm. And even a one hour show would not be enough yeah, let's for talk us about to them. talk about the lows. But, but the ones that were really never racking, the ones that were really just make you shake your head and wh why do we do this to ourselves? Yeah, the, the, the NFF saga also, um, it, it took a toll on, on different people and it made and people take sides, uh, mm -hmm. which wasn't good for our football. Even some because, of us, some of yeah, us, yeah. yeah, yeah. So because uh, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It was messy at the point, and um, we really need everybody to come together to really push our mm -hmm. football mm -hmm. um, forward because mm -hmm. uh, we're not really there. Yeah. We're not really there um, in, in any standards. And uh, uh, we used to be ranked fifth in the world in playing terms. Far back as ninety-four. Yeah, far back as ninety-four, second most entertaining team in the world behind Brazil, and now we are very, very off base. Um, thankfully, we have a very young team and we have a, a coach that is committed um, to getting the best out of the boys. So the, the only thing the team um, would demand is um, for a very good NFF backing. And if, they think, um, if, if the minister wants to be involved as much as he can, he can only come in in terms of um, um, support, advice. And, financial support. And yeah, Maybe financial infrastructure. support infrastructure generally. Also advice and because he, whether we like it or not, um, he, he plays a very vital role yeah, um, true. In, in sports in Nigeria today. So so I think we we should be careful with what we do with our football going forward from here. Mm -hmm. But um, thankfully, it's all settled right now. Hopefully. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's all settled and we're looking to a better 2019. <laughs> all right. All right. Pessimist right here. Okay. <laughs> all right. And... Um, uh, that's it. Uh, let's just let's just leave it at that. Too many laws. Too many laws to talk about. But uh, uh, let, the league also let, let, the end well. Oh, so. yeah, that, yeah, that as well. So let's I not buy the league that ended. <laughs> let's after not flog it dead games. Us. Let's okay. not flog it dead. <laughs> us. All right. Since you mentioned the sports minister, I think it's only fitting that we listen uh, to uh, when it comes to sports. The number one person in Nigeria, the person that answers all the questions and the bulk uh, stops at his table. Let's listen to uh, Barrister Solomon De Long, the Minister of Sports and Youth Development, outlining the plans for. 2019. In 2019, I believe that uh, we should do better. In doing better, infrastructural update should be cardinal in 2019. The, uh, the development of athletes training and the training of athletes in preparation of Olympics in 2020 is a priority in 2019. Competition for qualification by national federations is also a priority in 2019. And like I said, there is going to be an all stakeholders meeting. This is not the uh, community writing meeting. No. We need speakers on funding of sports to come and educate us at least in a two or three day uh, seminar so that we can appreciate. They will bring um, a test case of other climbs and present it to us. They will also use our uh, local peculiarity. I mean, there are better ways we can even develop in sport. Let me give you an example. During the National Sports Festival, traditional sports have the highest audience. Traditional sports. They have the highest. Langa, uh, Kukua. Kukua, Dembe. The audience were incomparable to any. This is because these are indigenous sports. Our people know it. It's what they, they, they grow up with in their various societies. So the people know it. Now, we need to develop these sports to modernize them. If you go to uh, Japan, their traditional wrestling now has been standardized and is accepted internationally. Dembe. The gloves used to be traditional, where you have cloth tied with rope now. Now it has been modernized, it's one hand glove. Medical 
uh, uh, science has also been imputed, imported into it. That is progress. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, just to quickly tell you uh, that uh, you can watch a concluded part of uh, the special interview uh, with the Minister of Sports, a uh, youth developer, Barrister Solomon the Log, or on the US Day. Uh, you could see uh, a larger part where he, answered, he, he talked about a whole uh, lot of things. There, he just outlined uh, the plans for uh, 2019, uh, talking about stakeholders meeting, athletes uh, development, a whole lot. But you can uh, see the extended version uh, tomorrow on Sports This Morning and, of course, on Sports Tonight. All right, guys, let's, let, let's move on. We don't really have much time, but, but, but CJ, yeah. he, he, he talked about a lot of things. So maybe your immediate reaction before uh, we move on. I, I like the fact that he's saying now that, that, look, the focus will be on the athletes. We have to ensure athlete development is key. Uh, once you hear that, you're happy because they're, they're the key players uh, and everything. Uh, uh, <laughs> we should be happy, and um, I think we should stay happy if they could really um, focus on athletes and give... Um, um, proper trainings and, and to athletes and um, you know make proper provisions for them um, to get the best um, trainings. Um, for instance, uh, we have we have one of the best um, table tennis players in the world, yeah. in Aaron Quadri. He virtually sponsors himself. He virtually everything he does. Yes, he has a club in in Europe that and pays his yeah, that pays his bills. But sometimes you need to reach out to these guys and mm -hmm. tell them we are with you so that they will give you 100% yeah. when the services are needed. All right, so uh, that's a good one, and uh, we hope that uh, all of these things will fall into place. In 2019, there will be too many lows, or no lows at all. All right, guys, let's travel abroad uh, now and, and talk about what's going on uh, in the English Premier League. They're, they're the ones uh, making this festive period a bit excited because everything seems to have gone to a lull, but English Premier League, um, a lot of matches. But let me get your thoughts. Maybe we start with Manchester City, back to winning ways. Uh, people are starting to question their credentials, and I don't know why. It does a couple of losses. We uh, are hearing a lot of things. It's it's absurd that um, people could question um, City's title credentials and after um, it was a bit a blip. Um, and Guardiola is normally not good with um, December games since he came to mm -hmm. England. I think he has lost the most matches um, mm -hmm. during the um, December period. That's about six games um, in December already in his three seasons in England. And while the highest he has lost in a particular month is two, um, so you, that tells you a lot about he's still how, trying to get yeah, used how, to the winter how he's games. trying to get used to the winter period and everything. So, um, but it was, it was shocking in a lot of aspects because um, coming into December they were top of the log, and um, and suddenly Liverpool are seven <laughs> points away. They're running away. Uh, seven <laughs> points away, and if if they lose again on Thursday, that would be. Uh, Handing Liverpool a massive, massive advantage going right. um, into the into the new year. Welcome back. All right, let's take a look at the papers now, starting with Sporting Sun here. And this one, Kante inspires Blues win. He was the one who actually got them that goal for them to be able to win against what? It, 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 does that Crystal support Palace? Sarri's position Sporting that, Sun. Does that support Sarri's position that? And don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Let, let me put him up there in an offensive position. Because we've all criticized him for putting yeah, Kante up, up, up. Does that Does that justify in any way? Um, I, think I still feel Kante from, looks from the, lost. From the coach's perspective, he will be very happy. He's very proud that Kante is doing the job. And he wants him to play further up the pitch and he's doing it. Um, so what do we know? We're not paid to be coaches. Well, okay, <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that, that settles it. Another one, Sari screams, Chelsea in trouble. And look at the money they want to use for Isco, 100 million pounds. Really? Isco? Uh, Isco already said he's comfortable. Or plus comfortable. another comfortable player. comfortable at Madrid. And I think he will so stay. he's not going. Okay, and this one, I think I'm interested in this one. Floyd Mayweather and <laughs> the fight against Nasukawa. And the, the very young Tonight. Japanese um, yeah. um, lad. I, I hope he doesn't turn it into a proper bro because... <laughs> well, the, the, the rule says no kicking, so I guess Floyd is safe as long as the guy is not using his legs. <laughs> and he says he could do three rounds in his sleep, whatever that means. And that's Floyd. <laughs> says he could f three rounds in his what? sleep without training. And if he trains, so he's going he to could get just be a very, 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 very million he's a, Yeah, he's a money man and he's a proper exhibition fight for him. Um, so it's, it's another avenue for him raking money. I, I'm not taking that fight any seriously. Um, so, 
I, I don't think the Japanese lad would, would hurt him. But if he, if he loses, is, is he a dead? No, uh, no, he's not. He's not dead. Okay, uh, Sporting Life is the next one. Uh, Soja hopes uh, to persuade the, the, uh, David De Gea he will be staying at Manchester United. I'm not sure any, anyone is living anymore. Since they are all happy and smiling now. Uh, but if they sign the new deal, no, sorry, just, uh, so, uh, just it, when, yeah, when they sign when they sign the new deals and it, it means they will stay. So for now, they want them to stay. Okay, uh, you are a football writer with Sporting Life, and there's this story: uh, FIFA to pay 6.96 billion naira to ticket stout. What's this one all about? Yeah, um, <laughs> you, you have to read the story. That's why it's on the that's how it's headlines. Yeah, uh, that's why we're reviewing <laughs> the papers. So they, they have to buy the papers and read. Uh, give me a hint on what it's all about. <laughs> it's about paying so that out. Can... So, yeah, tout. What yeah, is tout? Yeah, tout. Tickets. That's what, she's, that's what she's getting. Yeah, that's, that's what, what she's, she's getting. getting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take a look at the last paper for review. Uh, let's do a quick complete sports. That's the last paper for review. A lot of interesting stories. Uh, Chikweze Chico dismisses uh, Atletico Madrid link. A lot of us were happy uh, when we heard that, but he's dismissing it. Romero keen on permanent move to Leganes. And you have uh, other stories. Wobi Yen, Achon, Didi, Ajay, N 2018 uh, with a defeat. In a few seconds, which one of this uh, gets you talking? Chukweze on the steady rise. Uh, yeah, a good player. Um, nurtured very well by Emmanuel Amunike. Um, the 2015 Under-17 World Cup winning um, squad, and he has come leaps and bounds. But he still have a lot, a lot to um, to accomplish in his game. Mm -hmm. um, I watched him recently. His positioning is still a little bit suspect. So very good player. Coming too early. Yeah, too early for him. And if he if he decides to stay back and learn more and develop more at um, Villarreal, it's a very good one for him. For his growth. Yeah. All right, uh, Chidi, okay. We want to thank you for your time on the show today. Hopefully, we'll do this some other time. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. 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 <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your day. Uh, we did enjoy this. You're going to see us. Uh, we're going to be back here tomorrow again. Take you on the trip across the money spinning world of sports. I'm your Bye bye now. Thank you for watching. I'm Cecilia Amorbo.